Thanks again for tuning in. My name is Frank Mendez, and I get a lot of different questions that I ask from you daily. And one of one of them is uh, the difference between filtered water and RO water and distilled water. And that's a great question because I basically went through that process 25 years ago because I knew that I that the water was not pure, and I wanted to do something about that. Now. I went. My, I first started looking at my water quality by going to uh, filtered water because it was least expensive, and I thought this is going to do the job. Well, filtered water or charcoal filtered water is great, and it's great as a team. But when it stands alone by itself, it only removes a certain type of contaminants that you'll find in your water. What it really does is really improves your taste, by the way. So. When I took a look at that, I go, okay, it improves my taste, but how about all these other contaminants that, that, um, that are not taken out of my water? Are they still in there? And the answer is yes, they're still in there. And you probably have, of the total package of contaminants, it's probably only handled about 2 to 4% of the total contaminants in that water. So you're, you have a 96% vulnerability there. Uh, the bottom line is when it comes to charcoal filters and for people who are using them, I compliment you for using them because you're on a journey towards distilled water, really. You may not know that. I did not know that when I started doing that. But basically, charcoal filtered water, when it's standing alone, basically it just sweetens your poison. So all the contaminants are still in there. It tastes good, so you think it's good. That's not true. So you need more than taste to qualify as, as a good drinking water. Now, RO systems are kind of nice, too. Uh, that they, uh, they basically, it's a reduction system. It's a membrane system that you have. It also teams up with charcoal filters and sediment filters ahead of it to help elevate the purity of water. Now, RO systems take out a lot more contaminants in them, but it's a reduction system. It's not an elimination system. So basically, most of the toxins and poisons or anything else that you may really be concerned with, especially if you have health issues or you want to maintain uh, a great health are still in your water. So, so again, is a little. So, if you had a lot of poison in your water, it's going to reduce the amount of poison, but there's still poison in your water. So, you need to know that. And once again, those people who have RO systems, I congratulate you for taking that step. Once again, you're on your way to better health. I was with my chemical background. It's amazing, but I I was slow at progressing through the different water systems that are not uh, now available. And yes, I had an RO system. Uh, but once I realized that it's a reduction system and that a lot of your contaminants that are in there, such as, fluor such as fluoride and other contaminants that are found in your water, it may not remove at all or just barely m remove. So once again, it's good that you have that. You're doing something for your family. You're doing something for your health, but you're not doing what you could but you're not taking the greatest step that you can make of all, and that's going to distilled water. Now, I know a lot of you have heard, well, distilled water, that takes everything out. It's just too pure. Well, by the way, we sell, we sell uh, filters, and we sell RO systems, and we sell distilled water. We sell all those because so much, so much information is out there on those items, and yes, they do have a place, and they will improve your water quality, will, they can improve your health, but once again, they have minimal ability to do that. But most of them say that it's too pure, so you need total dissolved solids, or you need contaminants in your water, or you need um, some sort of trace minerals, or uh, it's just too clean or too pure. Well, no, that's not correct. It's pure H, a distiller gives you pure H2O. Trace minerals may or may not be found in your water, and they're in such small amounts, that uh, it's really not, not really a great thing for you to, to, to take a look at and to look for in your water supply. You should be looking for the highest purity water. And if you're looking for trace minerals, get it in supplemental form. Eat it in your dark greens. Dark greens also, for those people who have pH concerns, are there for you. So those are bases that will help you as well. But you, can, you have other alternatives to, ta to take. Distilled water now cleans the slate. So manufacturers and, and people who produce any sort of product, they want the slate to be totally clean. They don't want to take whatever water is available, and even though it may have a trace mineral that they want. But the problem is it has all these other contaminants in the water, 
which change the product quality and they have no control over it. So you don't want that. You want control of your health. You want control of your water. And you want, and you want to invest in something that's going to give you uh, the maximum uh, product for your, uh, for your investment. So it's distilled water that will do that. Many of you have heard a lot of different things or you'll hear this or that about distilled water. I really invite you to give me a call because uh, we do have a blog, by the way. We'll be happy to, to converse with you on the blog or you can give us a call and we'll be happy to either address that directly with you or with someone else who says distilled water is not the best to drink. By the way, distilled water is what you put directly into your veins when you go to the hospital to save your life. It's not the best spring water. It's not the best RO water. It's not charcoal filtered water, uh, but it is distilled water. So distilled water uses these other things to put a package together that are second to none. So drink distilled water. Give us a call if you have any questions or doubts. We really invite those questions and we understand why you may have those concerns and doubts as well. Have a good day. My name is Frank with waterdistillers.com.